I think it's super important we also honor all of those who work in a school. My mom was not a teacher. She was a paraprofessional. And we honor all of those who are. We have over 2 million students in public schools in Illinois. I'm not going to charterize this uh, system of education in Illinois. You are more important than doctors, more important than lawyers, more important than accountants, than engineers, than accountants. You hold the future of America in your hands every day. Up in Wisconsin, my opponent's role model, Scott Walker, uh, busted the union and cut education funding. We're not doing that in Illinois. My opponent in this race, Governor Quinn, has broken his promise to you, to our voters, to our taxpayers, our school children. Years ago, he said he would not change your pension, and he did. Years ago, he said, years ago, he said, I will treat education funding as the top priority. What did he do? Cut education funding when he did not have to. What I recommend that we do together is create a second pension plan in addition to and on top of the existing pension plan. And that should be a defined contribution plan, more of a 401k style plan. It's more in my opponent's best interest, a risky 401k plan for our teachers of Illinois. No way, as long as I'm governor, we're never gonna do that. What grade do you give yourself for your time as governor? <laughs> While you describe our union's political actions as bribery, yet your actions as good for democracy. Franklin, Franklin Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt. My opponent wants to wreck that system. He wants to take a sledgehammer to that system, take it away. And if you look at some of his uh, role models, not only Walker in Wisconsin, but uh, Mitch Daniels over in Indiana, his very first act as uh, governor was to sign a executive order taking away collective bargaining rights from unions across Indiana. I believe in collective bargaining. I think that's the best way to go, and I look forward to working with you on it. Rick Snyder in Michigan, Jeb Bush in Florida, Chris Christie in New Jersey. I've been studying with many, with many governors. I know this is a very controversial issue. Uh, on education funding, I think you're, I'm the best person you're ever gonna find in Illinois to fund our schools. I know you disagree with me on the pension issue, but please don't compare me to the almighty Compare me to the alternative over here. Pat Quinn has broken his promises on pensions, on taxes, on education funding repeatedly. That's a fact. You guys know it. We can all look it up. I, I uh, call it as it is. And I respectfully sometimes will disagree with you. But I'm a passionate advocate and ally for teachers. Always have been, always will be. You hold the future of our society in your hands. You deserve and need our support and respect. Who are the union bosses? Uh, one's you. <laughs> Cindy is a terrific leader. She's elected to do a job. She's elected by you to do a job. If there's no one there on the other side of the negotiating table representing homeowners, small business owners, working families, You are too, that's right. I've worked my tail off for you and other teachers around America so you could have a better retirement. And I've done a heck of a job for you and I'm proud of it. We're not gonna agree on everything, it's okay. I don't you know, agree with myself some mornings, it's okay. Don't be confused by those who say, tax less, spend less. That means learn less. I wanna have a learn more society. All right, here we go.